What's up, Aries, kings, queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of a Bother Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to a general versus message for the 9th through the 15th. Please keep in mind that the time frame is specifically for me. And whenever you see this message, that is when you are meant to see it. It could be past, present, or future. All right? If it resonates, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If it doesn't, check out your other placements, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. All right? This is mutual energy between you and the person um, that's most prevalent on your mind here. Thank you, Spirit, for clear and concise messages here. Thank you. All right. All right, so we got Dark Knight of the Soul here. Shadow side, Moon here, and this is Cancer energy. This is also like the Nine of Swords. So somebody feels like they've been liberated from some sort of... Um, situation here or it's the energy of like somebody's doing like some forward movement moving into some sort of change here right all right we got ancestor guides and alchemy in the reverse here okay so somebody doesn't want to listen to their their guides okay all right, we got winter rebirth. Somebody expect us to get back together around the winter time. For those of you that are um, in separation from this person, they expect us to get back together around the winter time, but that shit didn't happen. Hmm. All right, we got twin flames. Yeah, and that's definitely that separation energy. Then we got chem chemistry and passion. All right, okay. So we got intention, self-love in the reverse, release, surrender, purge, and separation, longing in the reverse. Somebody's trying to act like they don't care. It's like somebody's kind of, you know, all over the place here, but it's because they're trying to hold in their feelings here. They don't want to, um, they don't want to surrender to this connection here. They could be having a lot of inner conflict as they heal themselves, seeing things differently. It's like they're replaying all of the me messages, like, or all of the, it's like seeing a movie and you going back and replaying everything that happened here. All right. Um, some of you have very long hair. This, this is definitely your divine counterpart here. But it's like this person is single or you're single. Yeah, but it feels like this person is frustrated in this place. They also may be, like, if one of you are dealing with somebody else, y'all are frustrated with that person. You and this person have some sort of argument here. It's a sense of, like, you saw, like, like either they saw, like, what everything really was or something like this. It's, like, getting signs. Somebody figured some shit out, realized something, and there was some sort of argument. Somebody was being very stubborn here. All right, let's go ahead and jump into your person's intention here, Aries. Mm. So we got seeing through the fog. Your vision is getting clearer. And it says, love affair, dirty little secret, down low. The other, the other person I'm seeing is influencing my decisions. So like I just said... <laughs> Um, you know, I feel like this person, they try to keep you in some sort of haze here. They don't want you to know that they're dealing with someone else or this could have been something that you had to find out here. All right, let's get a little bit more here. I'm also getting for some of you, their intention is for you to be goodness. Don't want me to talk about it, eh? All right, so for some of you, the intention <laughs> is for you to be on the side or you to be the other person, trying to make sure. I really feel like I'm missing a card, but can't see anything, so I'll leave it like that. It's like they, their intention was to have you on the side or something here. 
All right, we got the Queen of Pentacles, uh, Capricorn energy, as well as Sagittarius. Give me more here, Spirit. This person could be married for some of you. Some of you could have children with this person. Eight of Wands here. And the Page of Swords. So it's like this person isn't really interested in having anything stable with you. Even if they come towards you in an energy acting like they want some stable shit, they're not... They, they, they're not really interested in that with the eight of wands in the reverse. This is like, um, like kind of like a energy of like, it's like they're lazy. They don't really want to put any forth any effort here. Or this person could just be acting like they don't really care. It's like, but this person still watches you. They're still nosy though. Hmm. we got the nine of wands here and see and this is because i feel like you know it's like you see them now it's like they don't feel like you have an option you already blew up the spot for wands in the reverse aries pisces energy with the queen of wands it's like they already feel like they're they're like you've rejected them here with the nine of wands and you see them clearly and like you're not interested in making it work, so in turn they're not. All right, let's see your intention here, Aries. I think I'm gonna fucking clarify them fucking cards. Just being nosy, left hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. Irreconcilable differences, divorce, final. Relax, clear your mind. So I feel like a lot of you are in the energy where it's like you know. Maybe I didn't do it right, but I did what was best for me. And your ass is cool with it. <laughs> like, period, you know. It's like, it's okay. For some of you, this relationship taught you that intimacy is about more than just sex. I feel like this, they gave you feelings that you never had before. Or this is something that you gave this person. All right, give me more here. What's the intentions for Aries? All right, so we got the Four of Swords here, the Five of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Yeah, so you guys, you guys are just kind of focused on yourself. Some of you could be dating right now, but I feel like it's like you know you're okay with this separation. From this person and granted a lot of you could feel abandoned from this connection a lot of you could be in some sort of pain in regards to this you know um separation with the six of cups that is definitely a uh soul contract union here you're sad that it isn't working but it's like you're pushing through right it's definitely an energy you pushing through some of you shit y'all having sex out here listen Look, getting needs met. Fuck is you talking about? We got the Page of Wands and the High Priestess here, Pisces Energy. I really feel like, you know, <laughs> it's taking, it's like, it's like, it's so sad to say it like this, but I feel like you guys, it's like you have a lack of faith in this relationship, so it's no reason for you to continue to put any effort. I feel like in the past, you guys are putting an effort into this relationship, even though it was one-sided. Even though this person wasn't really putting in as much effort as you were, you still you still continue to, to attempt it, to try. All right, let's get your person's challenge here, Aries. So we got caught up. Someone's actions are catching up to them. Trash, disregard, and throwing out. Forgiveness. I'm willing to forgive you and let go of the past. That's so funny. So they can try to make it seem like it's something that you did, right? Something that they need to forgive you for. It's also like this person is trying to disregard what the fuck they did and come back in like, okay, let's just forget about what happened and move forward here. No, motherfucker. No, let's, how about we don't? How about we don't and say that we did? All right, let me see here, Spirit. Give me more about Aries person's challenge. Give me more here. 
about Aries versus challenge. I feel like you're teaching this person a lesson. Sun card, Leo energy, five of swords, and the three of no eight of swords in the reverse. I don't know why the fuck I saw the three. Goodness. All right, so um, I feel like you know this person is realizing you know that they. <laughs> it's like this person is realizing that they put a lot of they they were fucking selfish as fuck but this is hard for this person to uh like take accountability towards the, the fact that they they were fucking selfish as hell i also feel like this person um is realizing like the happiness that you bring to them it's also a sense of like now i'm ready to change something now i'm ready to do something different now i'm open to change here or accept or accept him or accept the feelings that i have for you here mm. some of them stay with their mama all right, we got the um, world's card and the high priestess in the reverse. We just had the high priestess in the reverse over here. It's crazy. So I feel like this person wants to end the loneliness that they feel without you. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio here, or Pisces with the high priestess. They want to end this loneliness here. They want to end. Some of you could have blocked this person, and they're wanting to come back into um, union with you, but they know that you lack faith in this connection, and they're trying to bring faith to it i feel like there is a lot of internal chaos that they're dealing with it like for real let's get your challenge here aries all right so we got watching you watching you on your social media lights up my mood history past happened dead something has come to a complete end so i feel like a lot of you kind of want this relationship to kind of come back together it's like you're leaving a window open on some level right but um essentially i feel like you're still like i'm over it though like that shit is in the past that shit's in my rear view mirror i can't keep hoping or wanting this person to change i can't want more for them than they want for themselves here all right let's see give me more here about the challenge for aries spirit give me more here about the challenge for aries thank you all right, so we got the King of Wands in the reverse, Sagittarius Scorpio energy, the Nine of Pentacles here, and the uh, full card, Aries, Aries uh, Aquarius energy. So I feel like, you know, uh -huh. it's like you, you're kind of, okay, it's like you're kind of nervous to like branch out and date new people and really get out there, right? this is this is definitely an energy where it's like yeah it's hard for you to be disconnected from this person um and it's like you you don't really know what it's gonna be like to be single or to be in a freeing energy with with opportunity to new beginnings because like i said a lot of you're gonna be dating now and you looking good doing it you see what i'm saying so it's like now you're trying to figure out where you want to invest your time into or who you want to invest your time into how you're going to be able to move forward after this relationship okay and just because you don't know it all right now, Aries, it don't mean that you won't figure it out. Like, it's a journey. Shit. So we got the Page of Swords and the Two of Swords, which is giving me Three of Swords energy. So I feel like, again, yeah, y'all still hurt by this. But I feel like you guys are curious to move on, though. It's like, I feel like you're pushing ahead. Like, I'm I'm still, I'm still pushing. I'm still going to do what I need to do because, shit, I got the confidence to do it. If I had the confidence to leave this relationship, then I can definitely, you know, move on, heal my broken heart type of shit. All right, let's get your person's actions. So we got... First, we got the grass was greener. The grass was fake. The grass was greener because it was fake. Access granted, social media, fake profile hiding. Alone time. I'm taking the time to be alone to balance my emotions. So it's like this person is trying to figure out exactly what they want. I feel like if they were in a different situation, like up here, this they, they found out that this wasn't what they wanted. This person is definitely watching you too. Definitely watching you too. I feel like they have dreams about you. And they definitely have like sexual daydreams and shit about you. 
Give me more here about the actions. Give me more about the actions for Aries person. All right, so we got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, which is Taurus Aries energy, the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And then we got the Ten of Swords. All right. So this person, <laughs> this is the energy of somebody that's 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 like, okay, so I was playing games. I was bullshitting. I was manipulating. I was keeping shit from you. I was, you know, keeping secrets. I was being selfish. Shit, I'm trying to stop all that shit. I'm trying to stop all that shit because now I'm feeling the pain of this. Now I'm feeling and, and seeing what happens with this ending here. I feel like this person is starting to feel or at the very least realize the impact that they had on you in this relationship. Right, and they want to have, it's like this person wants to have hope that you guys can come back together. You could be dealing with Aquarius here with the star. It's like they want to have hope that this will be able to heal that that you guys will have some sort of renewal here if they are open enough to be able to surrender to this connection let's get your actions so we got shattered here i'm feeling broken can't stop these racing thoughts now this shit was in the reverse here so i feel like some of you are just you know kind of focusing on healing um and becoming whole again right now um we got today present now and in the moment toxic family the family dynamic may be toxic so i feel like you know you may be dealing with some issues within your family especially if you have um children with this person it's an energy where it's like you know passive aggressive shit that you don't want to have to deal with Especially if they try to, you know, start coming back towards you once whoever they were dealing with doesn't work out. All right, give me more here, spirit. Give me more here. The actions. All right, we got the four of wands here. More of that twin flame energy. The two of wands. And I said it. I was like, and if this is the three of wands, baby. Okay, and tarot. Two, three, four, those are all of your cars in this fire fucking day. So it's like, fuck you, pay me is the energy I'm getting. Like, I feel like you're being your own motherfucking hope. You're like, look, you may be like, you may have lived with this person and you moved out. Now you're about to get your own fucking house, your own apartment, whatever the case may be. You're planning to move forward. You're planning to be successful it's like you're going to make the most of whatever um freedom that you have i feel like a lot of you have a vision for exactly what you want to do and a lot of you have a lot of options here um and it's like so much fucking potential to just be able to do everything that you want oh my goodness that is so crazy i've never gotten that all right so we got the chariot in the reverse here cancer energy and then we have the world card which is capricorn leo taurus aquarius scorpio energy here so i feel like a lot of you are in a place where it's like you feel like i feel like you're going to be moving into a, a place where you're realizing that you did not miss out on the opportunity with this person this person missed out on the opportunity with you because i feel like a lot of you felt like this person was like just everything right and eventually i feel like you're gonna think like no that that's the fucking lie i'm everything especially with the um um justice card here this shit was karma you know this shit was karma um it was a lesson that you needed to learn but it was karma for this person is the energy i'm getting you know what i'm saying like they needed to learn this lesson that look this lesson in particular is what the fuck they needed to learn all right let's see what messages we have from your person i was gonna do the do the thing but i don't want to look i don't want to go hella over time okay let's see here because i know y'all impatient look okay so we got wrongful advice so somebody could be giving you some wrong advice during this time um be sure to okay like if you trust your friends then okay but if you're dealing with somebody like a friend that kind of sleeps with their friends people and shit 
keep your fucking eye open because this this person can be telling you shit just to kind of get in between you guys because they they want to get with them or they have been getting with them and this is one of the people that they're keeping from you let me have you listen to your heart I want a fresh start with you. I lie awake thinking about our future. What did I say? I hope you're away from me in that three. Definitely dealing with someone else. And again, three, your family won't like me because of all of the shit they did. And they want, look, they want sex with you. That is that Capricorn energy. All right, let's go ahead and see what signs you guys are dealing with during this time here, Aries. Thank you, Sphere, for clear and concise messages. I don't know why, but I just got, like, maybe their number is um, 713. Even though it's a four right here, it's like an area code. I don't know who area code is 713 or 317, but... Okay, we got Sun popped out, Leo energy. Could be done with the Leo. We got Cancer. All right. We got Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, we got Capricorn, then we got Neptune, Pisces energy, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.